part of the reproductive system. We're going to learn about the female parts, but not everything because we are a little complicated. The main purpose of the female reproductive system is to produce eggs and hormones, although hormones get a bad rap because anytime you hear people talking about hormones, you think about big mouth. But it's so much more than that, and it's so meaningful, especially in the human body. Even before a baby is fully formed, they're always taking. Literally, the other reason for the reproductive system for a woman is to be able to nourish a fertilized egg right up until it actually gives birth. We're talking about eggs and fertilization, but where does all this occur? This is where the whole new thing comes in play. In here, we got the eggs. We got all the eggs. By the time you're actually matured, and by you, I'm talking about all the sisters out there. By the time we're matured, we have all the eggs we'll ever need. And I mean hundreds of thousands of eggs all up in here. Ovaries produce egg cells, and the fallopian tubes carry the eggs to the actual uterus. That's where the magic happens. So, for everybody that says your baby's in your stomach, your baby's not in your stomach, baby. It's in your uterus. This, this is where your uterus is. This is where your stomach is. If it was in your stomach, you would poop it out, and it will be digested. You, you, what is the word for when people eat other humans? You, you cannibal, that's the word for humans that eat other humans. You know, everybody always blames Aunt Flo for like ruining their day, but did you know Aunt Flo is actually there for a purpose. The purpose of the menstrual cycle is actually to prepare your uterus for a baby. And so basically what's happening is like, oh yeah, oh yeah, we gonna have a baby today. We, we gonna have a baby today. Then when it gets in there and realize, right? Sperm. Yeah. Oh, sperm. It's a drill, y'all. It's, it's a drill. There ain't no sperm. Damn, baby. Da -da -da. Da -da. That's that's where you have your period instead of you actually having a baby or pregnancy. And for some of you, you might feel like oh. others is like. Guess we can practice again. But the end is, I have a question. If it's just eggs, why is there blood? Great question. So, it's not just the egg. What actually is happening, the egg is being shed, but also the lining of the uterus is, and tissue is leaving along with it. So the actual discharge of blood and egg and all that is called menstruation. It's a whole process. Painful, painful process. I know I told you a lot of information today, but don't worry. Next video, we're going to talk about how the egg is actually fertilized and also the stage of the pregnancy. So,